Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is MJ the Future. Thank you for joining me on my channel on this lovely Friday evening. Um, today I was going through some of the comments on my previous Club Grand video about the vinyl effect and I noticed some people made different comments about Easy Key and hopefully I did my best to answer them. However, one comment stood out in particular by the brother Michael McCarthy and he left this little antidote at the end of his comment, which I'm grateful for because he resurfaced or re-brought to my attention something that I knew but overlooked. And I have no idea why I overlooked it. I'm actually in the Twilight Zone right now, but let me read it to you. He said, great fit. I was going to skip this plugin, but this demo sold it to me, and for $20, why not? I'm loving easy keys, man. I've had a feel for rhythm and chords, and now it's like I have a super competent key player in my pocket. It's a real game changer, which by itself is very true. Also, did you know you can feed easy keys to a non-chord progression, like a melody or bass line, and have it make the chords for you? That's handy. It's great for key changes. Great times are living. Thanks, MG. Thank you, Michael. Thank you. <laughs> and what's mind-boggling about this, because I remember an old tutorial that I did where I almost did that. I did something. I did it the other way, and what didn't dawn on me is that it's a two-way street. So let me explain. In Easy Keys, you can import your own MIDI. If you go to Menu, Browser, Add a Folder to Browser, you can bring in stuff that you download online, or in my case, exports from old beats I made in FL Studio. So here are the different parts I have from one beat. The bass, the chords, the melody, the stabs. So basically, Easy Keys already gave us infinite playstyles. Even if you want to add their expansions, you could technically make your own if you download MIDI from video games or online in the different cache jump dumps, or if you're converting them with Melodyne, right? Export as MIDI, add it to a folder, import the folder in Easy Keys, and then when you add your own chords, like I'm going to do here real quick. So I'm going to use the circle and go to E to B, B to D, D to G. Real simple four bar progression. Now, I can highlight these and take my stabs and play it through new chords. Or I can take the bass line and do the same. And as you can see, it's trying to make some chords out of this. It's approximation or follow algorithm. It's trying to do its best. But that's even fine because I could drag this out, go into the piano roll and edit and remove the chordal element but it kept the integrity of the baseline's pattern and feel. And that's what I thought most people were talking about. It's like, hey, you import your own MIDI through a folder and apply it to any chord you throw at it. This is the most common when you're using Scalar to analyze the keys and the sample, and then you find a scale, you make a four bar chord progression, drag it to easy keys, and then you can go through your old MIDI library and just make up new stuff. Out of old stuff. I shouldn't use such an eclectic neo soul vibe MIDI because it's going out of key and these chords are in key. But you get the idea. You could play your old songs through new chords as much as you want, which is was lit by itself. But with the, what he, Mr. Michael is talking about, something totally different. And my brain just couldn't compute. So I'm going to try to play a struggle lead because if you're anything like me, the hardest part about music theory is the why and where does it come from. So when you're playing different keys or playing different elements, unless you're a singer or a songwriter, you don't know why you're playing the keys and the melody. Of course, the basics is you have a scale. In that case, that's C minor. And then you just kind of fiddle around. But that becomes very boring. And also, it's quite challenging because then you got to find what the other keys are, the other harmonies are. So I'm going to lay down something that's really simple. <laughs> and trust me, that's by default. Put it onto a track with easy keys, or you can export it, import it into easy keys. But in this case, I'm going to hit record. I'm going to go to the beginning of my session, play it, and let easy keys pick up on it. And it gives us what the key data is, which in turn becomes chord data. So I'm going to drag that back onto the lead, go to my Easy Keys track, and browse user MIDI. And this is the hardest part. It's finding the right performance for that, for your melody. But you don't have to worry about music theory. You just worry about how it feels or sounds now, literally playing it by ear. That's not perfect, but I'm gonna use it. Let's see what it sounds like.
Let's turn easy keys off because we still hear that sound. So let's play this. And keep in mind, this is in a new key than the original that it took its place out from, which is crazy. And it's dealing with chords that wasn't there because all I had was this lead. And I believe I can take this track again, instrument parts, detect key signature, and it gave me E flat major, and that will help me add new chords. And then I can also right click on it again and just extract, extract a chord track, and then I got the chords, which means I also have bass, which is just nutty to me. Like, this is ridiculous. This is getting out of hand. This is, <laughs> oh man, oh, man. <laughs> not my favorite bass, but it's gonna sub in for now. Now I can tell it the follow chords, bass. Then I can change it to a better sound. Now let's find us a better lead. And then you can follow up with a pluck. And my recommendation for this particular part is that you could go back in the easy keys and find a different articulation, or you could pick a chord that you know, like C minor or something, and just play it over and over and over again. Add a key like nobody's business, but follow it parallel or narrow. And when turn these ghost channels on, and see where it's happening. It's following the lead's voice. So I gotta fix these. Thank goodness for ghost channels. And then invert them down, shift down. Okay, that's correct to begin with. Me no like it. So when you get it adjusted, it'll come out like this. And then of course you can alternate the arrangement with the different parts. That's crazy, man. Wow. wow. That's just ridiculous. And that's just coming up with a struggle melody and then feeding it to easy keys and getting a performance as a chord and then assign that to a pluck, pad, piano, whatever. And then with those two elements, usually, especially if um, Studio One or whatever program you use can give you the key, you can figure out the bass line where you use follow bass and then use the ghost channels and fill in extra notes because you know 808s usually have different um, notes that they use for different pitches. Kind of like, I call them stunts, different 808 stunts, but you can do all that manually. It's, <laughs> trust me, it's a lot easier to figure out where those go than it does the whole progression. So to me, it's just mind blowing. It opens up the door to different types of music. Like uh, it invites you to create melodies. And that wasn't something that I always was fond of. You know, it's easy to hear a song and replay it, but now you could just experiment with different scales, especially the foreign or oriental ones and come up with these odd melodies or those other programs on uh, InstaScale and things like that. Come up with these crazy melodies and instead of trying to figure out what chord should go there, like I did in those videos, now I'm thinking about it, just give it, let Easy Keys handle, let it handle the, the, the grunt work. And then you have all these different expansions where you get all these different play styles and it just becomes seconds. And you just wait. <laughs> And then when you're done, you can export the new melody if you liked it, or if you, you know made adjustments and you liked it, save that into the folder, and then later on come back and reuse it with a new set of chords. Like you can go back and forth. It's a two-way street, and it just becomes. I'm, my mind's still blown. I'm still processing this. But anyway, you guys enjoy your weekend. I thank you for checking this out. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, definitely leave them in the box below. Until next time, guys, peace. I'm him.